Hello, today I'm doing a full shape comparison between the Zowie EC2 and the Vaxi Outset AX. Because every time somebody dismisses the Outset AX as an EC2 clone, I die a little bit on the inside. So today I want to create an in-depth comparison that furthers our discussion about these two shapes, as well as go over some of the finer details that affect how these two mice feel different in hand. For reference here, my hands are 18 by 9 to 9.5 centimeters. Where these mice end up drawing the majority of the comparisons is that they're both asymmetric or ergonomic designs that are slanted to facilitate a tilt style of grip, like so, instead of flat. Both of these mice feature the same general design, and the EC2 was the first to market. This is why the people call the outside a clone. However, this mouse aims to make a few very key improvements to this classic shape, and I think that it was largely successful in its goal of creating an improved EC2 shape. So while I do think that the EC2C is still a viable mouse, I think that the outside AX serves to present the next evolution of the slanted ergonomic design. Where I want to start discussing these differences is in the hump, the shape of which is what I think most differentiates how these two mice feel in hand. To start off with the EC2, you can see here that it gently flares out on either side to create a back that is wider than the front. It also remains quite tall in this back region. This ends up giving the EC2 a pretty noticeable hump in hand. You will certainly feel the back of this mouse start to fill out your palm region. This hump itself is well rounded and has very smooth, gentle curves. These curves are meant to match the shape of your hand in a tilt grip and provide a lot of support for this specific grip style. I feel that this rounded, fairly tall hump right here in the middle ends up working its way into my hand very easily. I feel that it really works to follow my natural curves and assimilate itself into my hand to create as much contact as possible. This gentle right side flare on the hump also works to follow this curvature on your hand. I feel almost complete contact from the very top right side of my palm all the way down to the heel. The EC2C feels very supportive and very locked in in this regard. All regions of my hand make so much contact that I feel far more supportive than I am on most other mice. The EC2's hump shape is absolutely meant to make as much contact as possible and to work its way into your hand. The outside AX on the other hand has these very similar flare outs on either side, but the hump ends up being noticeably wider than the EC2. It's pretty hard to line the two shapes up on asymmetrical designs, but I think in this angle you can see that the outside AX ever so slightly flares out wider than the EC2. In hand though, this is far more noticeable and the outside AX will have a much larger hump in comparison. It is far more prominent in its design than on the EC2. The hump is also slightly taller, which has further contributes to it feeling a little bit more prominent in hand. However, the hump being wider doesn't actually make it feel any more clunky, because it instead has a flat top instead of the rounded one that you saw earlier. Once again, the difference is still pretty subtle, and on camera the outside axis hump is just barely flatter. But once again, in hand the difference is much more noticeable. I feel that when I'm able to back off the hump in my normal grip when I pinch recall like so, I get much less contact in this middle area of my palm, because I both grip it at wider points than on the EC2, and a flat top will end up filling out this rounded gap I have less. So while it does limit contact in this middle area of her palm here, it still makes just as much contact everywhere else because it has the same flare here that follows your hand curvature. I still get all the support and stability that I like out of the EC2, but I feel my hand has a little bit more room to breathe in the middle. Of course my stability is slightly less on the EC2 because when I grip that mouse, I end up getting more hand contact in this triangle region of my palm here. However, I still feel that the majority of my stability comes from filling out this region of my palm instead. So the outside AX and the EC2C are much more interchangeable in this regard for me personally. Not all hand contact necessarily ends up leading to more stability, and these two shapes prove it. So while the flat hump of the outside does limit hand contact in this pincher style of grip that I was talking about, it will actually increase the amount of contact if you choke up and flatten out your palm a little bit. Here the flat top allows you to very naturally rest your hand on top of the hump, and now you have a lot more space to rest your palm. You can still do the same type of grip on the EC2C and still get a lot of support out of it. But this rounded nature forces you to wrap your hand around the hump instead. I don't feel as relaxed because on the outside I could just simply set my hand on top, which to me feels far more natural. But if you are someone that really does like to wrap your hand around, then I do think that the round design of the EC2 hump will serve you better. So now the final point that I'll make about these two mice's humps is that the outset has a very cut off back. You can see here on the classic EC2 shape that this gentle curve ends up going all the way down to almost touching the pad. Only these last couple millimeters are cut off here. The outset instead follows a pretty similar curve, but the back cuts off far sooner. This makes the outset's hump feel very stubby, and allows for a very large vertical range of motion despite the hump feeling larger overall. With the EC2, whenever you make these small vertical motions with your fingers, you can feel the very back portion of your hand impacting the base of your palm, like so here, as opposed to the outset. This contact that the very bottom portion of the hump makes with the heel of my hand ends up pinching the meaty portion against the pad and severely limiting my vertical range of motion. This pinching is so severe for me personally that I don't even use my fingers to vertically aim on the EC2. I purely rely on using my shoulder and moving my entire arm up and down the pad. But then on the outside I feel completely free and unrestricted in comparison, and I feel that the amount of vertical freedom I have is very comparable to a much smaller mouse. But now of course this cutoff back does come at a little bit of a downside, which is that when you do want to palm this mouse, it will end up feeling like your hand is falling off the back of the mouse and you won't quite get the support in the very bottom region of the heel of your hand. The EC2 in comparison feels much more natural in this grip, and I notice that the hand support I get extends all the way down to this very bottom region. However, I feel that in every other grip besides this type of relaxed palm, this cutoff back is just an objective improvement. In most grips, it doesn't substantially change how the mouse feels, but it still gives so much freedom despite being a very small alteration to the shape. Alright, now moving on to the side curvature. This is where the differences start to get much more subtle, but still very much so contribute to how different these two mice feel in hand. 
Where I want to start is on the thumb groove of the EC2C. Overall, the EC2C's thumb curvature feels pretty relaxed. The flare here coming from the back is pretty large, but the part where it actually starts to meet the side of the mouse and come into the thumb groove actually has a pretty gentle slope to it. It has a very natural diffit where you want to place the tip of your thumb right here in front of the side buttons. I feel that it's very easy to allow my thumb to follow this nice gentle swooping curve, make contact all throughout this middle meaty portion of my thumb, and then end the tip of my thumb right at this divot here, where I can place it right underneath the side buttons. This type of natural thumb position feels very relaxed and very comfortable on the EC2. The outside in comparison has a very similar design of its thumb groove. You can see a very similar flare out into a deep thumb groove. Where it differs however is that the thumb groove feels a little bit more aggressive overall. As I said earlier, the actual hump itself is a little bit wider. So this flare here ends up coming out a little bit further. And then to solve a deep feeling thumb groove has to cut in at a more aggressive angle. The difference is very subtle but you can notice that the slope here is a little bit sharper. Then the next key difference is how much more quickly the outside axe goes from a flat slope up top here all the way down to the curved side. On the EC2C the difference in the curvature happens much later. It's slightly concave in this region, reaches a flat point right here at the thumb divot, and then it very slowly starts to slant out as it goes towards the back of the hump. Since the curve feels like it reaches this inflection point right underneath the buttons here, it is much easier to get your thumb into a more aggressive position and get it perpendicular to the sidewall of the mouse. The EC2's more rear facing inflection point ends up making it far more conducive to a more relaxed thumb position. It's much harder for me to curl back my thumb without feeling like I'm fighting this portion of the curve right here. It is far more natural to just simply follow this gentle curvature with my thumb and get a very comfortable, relaxed positioning. I can still get this very relaxed thumb positioning on the outside AX though, because I am still able to wrap my thumb around from the back, and then follow these grooves into a more relaxed positioning. I don't quite get the same luxury of flexibility on the EC2 though, because I do feel that this long back and this curvature here ends up preventing me from trying to wrap my thumb into a more aggressive position without inhibiting my movement. Overall, it just feels far less natural to get this aggressive thumb positioning on the EC2, while on the outside it is extremely comfortable and natural. Alright, now I'm going to move on to the right side curvature of the EC2, which I think is the worst part about this shape. You can see here that it has a very gentle, swooping curvature that very quickly goes to a flat region right here. This flat region is where you are intended to place your fingers, but it has one very major issue, and that is that it is tilted this way instead of flat or concave. I feel that this direction of side slant is just outright bad on this shape. On the older versions of the EC2, some people had problems picking up their mice because of it. Old Zowie mice are so heavy and the coating was so much less grippy that a lot of people's fingers would end up sliding up these slanted sides and prevent them from properly picking up and resetting their mice. On the new and improved coating and the reduced weights of the C-Series, I don't actually think that this is that much of an issue, but I still personally find that these slanted sides feel very uncomfortable. It will feel very natural to place your ring finger right on this divot in the right side. You will feel very locked in here and it won't feel like your finger can slide up or down the side. However, in this type of aggressive curl, I end up feeling my finger get pushed upwards because of the slant. This type of upward push instead of my more relaxed ring finger position ends up hurting my finger after a little while and causing a lot of discomfort. Therefore, I feel that I'm forced to do a much more relaxed positioning. With this more relaxed finger position, I feel like I end up hitting this portion of the curve that is more concave right at the top here. To me, it feels pretty bad to have to have your ring finger be forced into a position that is less comfortable for you, just because your very natural position ends up causing discomfort. And now, of course, this will be personal preference, and a lot of people will end up finding different finger placements up and down the side of this curve. But with my personal grip style, how these sides are slanted and it's severely impacting my enjoyment of the shape. In contrast, the outside X ends up completely fixing this issue and creating a much more gentle side curvature. It doesn't end up having the same deep divot that entices your finger to find it. Then at the bottom of this flat portion, it is actually completely flat. It doesn't have the same awkwardly tilted sides that end up inhibiting your grip whatsoever. This I feel makes the outside much more easy to grip overall. It is easier to pick up, it causes no discomfort, and is overall very solidly designed. I also feel that this much more gentle and neutral side curvature ends up giving you much more freedom in where to place your fingers up and down the side. It doesn't feel like there's any one correct position to place your fingers, and I feel that no matter what you do, you will end up finding a very comfortable grip for you personally. Alright, now finally onto the button height and grip width, the final thing that makes these mice differ a little bit in their hand feel. Overall, the EC2C is very slightly thinner at the grip and lower in the button height. Personally, this ends up giving the EC2C a very slightly more precise feel. I feel that it ends up combining with the more relaxed finger positioning I use to create a nice feeling of precision and control of my fingers, because of how relaxed, thin, and low they can get. Then on the other hand, the outside X feels noticeably taller. Its buttons do sit higher than the EC2C, and they also completely lack the comfort grooves that can allow your fingers to sit a little bit closer to the pad. This I feel ends up changing the angle of my wrist on the outset, with a slightly more aggressive finger positioning, a taller hump, and higher buttons. To me, this ends up making the outset lose some of that precision feeling that it can get with the EC2. However, I do still feel that I can be pretty precise at the outset, due to how little it restricts my motions and how much I can actually use my fingers to aim. These slight differences in button height and grip width are where personal preference are going to start becoming very important. This difference in precision that I feel between these two mice is very much so just a feeling. It is highly subjective and something that I can't quite place my finger on. Depending on how you personally feel about button height and grip width will affect which of these mice feel more precise. Just be aware that these two factors will affect how these mice feel in hand, and you will probably end up liking one feeling over the other. 
All right, now moving on to my general recommendations. Overall, I feel that between these two mice, the outside DX pretty easily gets my recommendation. I feel that overall it can be much more flexible in how you grip it, and that this mouse will work for a wider variety of people than the EC2. You can get a more aggressive thumb position, or you can get a relaxed one. You can place both your fingers on the flat part of the curve. You can start wrapping them around the top of the curve. You can curl them back aggressively, and so much more to make this mouse work for you personally. The outside DX really feels like a much more universal take on the ergo shape, and I think its only limiting factor would be its size. And also, slightly larger hump ends up making it feel a little bit easier to wrap your fingers around and get a very secure grip on it. I don't feel myself end up fidgeting around as much as I do with the EC2C, and the grip I'm able to get feels very locked in, because of how I'm able to wrap around this larger hump and still get a very secure grip. And then the outside AX also has less things that will describe about its shape as outright issues. It doesn't have this region right here that can end up pinching your hand during vertical motions, and then also doesn't end up having this very awkwardly slanted flat portion here. It just rounds out a lot of these issues to create an overall much more balanced shape which is why it will give my shape recommendation over the EC2. However, I do still think that the EC2C is completely viable, just a little bit more niche in its applications. The grip you can get on it does feel more relaxed, and if you are someone who likes these very relaxed grips, then it'll probably work out fine for you. And then the more curvy hump design will allow for a lot more hand contact and support. If you are someone who values a shape that can really work its way into your hand and become part of it, then I think that the EC2C should still be on your radar. But for most people, I still do think that the outside AX has outclassed it, and has cemented itself in my mind as the premier asymmetric slanted mouse design. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you, and that I'll see you in the next one.